is at an Ematch manufacturer. So they're currently producing Ematch. Okay, so this machine here, you load your spool of wire, and it's doing the whole cut and stretch. It's making these. I'm gonna get close. So it's uh, crimping and cutting these strings of wire. Wow. Microm, that's what the, the yeah, microm wire. Okay. So the raw that's all raw the, material. That's all the talons are. And then this machine here is coiling the wire. Right, right just the, the in there. And then it wraps it. It's difficult to see in the video. But you see the lines on this piece she's about ready to solder. That's the each individual part. That's really cool. So then here's the finished part from what we just saw in the last process. Put it on here and it stamps it into the match head. That's cool. <laughs> look at all the leftover pieces. Yeah. Well, they probably. All right, taking a closer look at the match head here. See the line that's running across it. That's that what that coiling machine was doing, was putting that bridge wire on the metal there. That's a lot. A lot of matches there, huh? And then they'll dip this, cut and dip this to make the match head. Okay, so those pieces are put onto this rack, which you'll see on the floor. 800 per board. 800, 800 per board. And they're dipped on that tray, and then they're put into the dryer. Each board, 780, 780, 780. Wow. That's a lot. Wow. Yeah, 800. Yeah. Check out this match head pile. And continuity testing over here. And over here, just taking the already dipped parts and cutting it to leave the match heads behind. <laughs> just look at all this scrap metal. Yeah, she's going fast too. Soldering the head on the wire. Oh, doing that quick. So this is testing resistance ranges. I assume it beeps different if it fails. Is that right? And then placing shrouds on. And what's she doing? Oh, continuity on, on the match head. Yeah. E match testing. <laughs> that part really good. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this brief tour of a firework electric match manufacturer. If you did, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.